Hello friends, welcome to BSC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about fundamentals of pathology. I am going to teach about the lecture survival of <laughs> plant pathogens. So first thing about the survival of plant pathogens. So the plant pathogens which used to require a reservoir of inoculum, uh, such as it to be known as the infected host bodies so which act as a reservoir of their um, eggs as well as the immature stages as well as uh, un uh, unproductive stages to uh, get away from the undisturbed as well as unwanted environmental conditions uh, in the environment as well as they also have the saprophytic survival outside the host by going into the dormant spore like structure and uh, they are also used to have other structures as well as in or outside the host to maintain or survive in the unfavorable conditions made by the environment mm. and uh, while seeing about the first primary infection made by these host for their survival sources so they mainly go for the initial infection in the individual host and uh, as well as while seeing about the inoculum they are said to be propagated from the primary infection made by the uh, microorganisms and after that the secondary infection as well as the secondary inoculums are produced but the major survival technique used by them or um, comes under the primary infection of infecting the susceptible plant and after that they initiate the disease and the secondary infection uh, which is the spirit of disease is said to be made by the infected organisms so as i have already told you the first infected host which used to act as a primary inoculum so they first uh, they also used to have different stages we can able to classify them as stages or else you can able to classify them as the pots which are required by these microorganism during their infected host as well as the primary inoculum so first one i am classified it as the first cultivated host so i have given some of the cultivable host of citrus which made to you uh, have the primary inoculum in the infected host some are citrus canker red rot of sugar cane blast uh, leaf spot as well as powdery mildew of cocoa bits and uh, some other are the wild host of same families so the example the rust of cereals powdery mildew as well as viral disease of cocoa bits as well as the wild host of other families so which is an alternative host so these pathogens also used to live on the alternative host when there is a not a sufficient amount of their permanent host so we can able to know that these pathogen used to have a wide host range uh, and also a wide range in weather conditions so they want also able to survive even in the unconditional as well as unfavorable situations uh, by having an spore formation and uh, the second one is a saprophytic survival outside the host so these are these spore formations so example pythium rhizoctonia sclerotium as well as a uh, root inhabiting fungi uh, they are said to be some of the example of saprophytic living organism outside the host so they are said to be affected by soil structure moisture organic matter ph level in the soil level so by maintaining the soil level we can able to eradicate them from our field conditions so they are said to be having an alternative spore formations as well as some other technique uh, which can be able them to have a place in the in open environment and the third one is dormant organs of pathogens so yeah, i have classified them based on different category so for example in virus there is no resting pores but they are said to be transmitted by vectors so these virus which are said to be used to live in the insect and bacteria there is no resting spores they are continuing lives in host and in sieve as well as they also even survive as the saprophytic nature from the remainings of the field as well as in seeds and the soil born fungus so these are the spore forming fungus example chlamydospore oospore ascospores so they also have other dormant structures like rhizoplus as well as clerotia in the open environment and the fourth one is seed born fungus so they are said to be known as the dormant spores on seed coat dormant mycelium under the seed coat or in the embryo so example smut ergot coltotrichum species and some of these pea seed born fungus so where the microorganism used to form a dormant structures in these seeds 
and uh, after that the after knowing about the survival tactics we must need to know about the spread of plant pathogens so the mode of spread of plant pathogens are uh, classified into major two types they are inanimate agent as well as animate agents so inanimate agents are the natural agents which use to help the microorganism to spread example wind water soil uh, seed so as well as in animate so these are the living agents so which help put uh, for the spread of pathogens even the insect nematode fungi animals birds even as well as humans are also one of the transporting agents of these spores so while seeing about the inanimate agents so they are mostly comes under the passive process so uh, for most of them so first i am going to tell about wind so in wind major of the resting spores are uh, as well as conidia are said to be um, spread by the wind agents and uh, in active process so they to be known as the sexual spores uh, such as basidiomycotina ascomycotina these spores are said to be violently discharged by hydrostatic pressure which is said to be produced in the ascus of the microorganism and they are said to be actively uh, penetrated so in passive process the dormant spores are said to be transport and in active process the sexual spores are said to be uh, transported in by the wind uh, and while seeing about there is a use to have three phases in wind the first one is take off as well as journeying through air as well as in landing and the another one is be water so most of the them uh, are the spores which is said to be uh, carried out by the water as well as pleurotia mycelial fragments which is the body fragments of the microorganism and even some nematodes present in the soil are said to be disseminated by irrigated water and they can even able to go for the nearby fields in through the irrigation water so for example potato black leg uh, potato black rot banana wilt smut of sugar cane red dot of sugar cane or some of the water transmitting diseases uh, so in this water transmission most of the uh, so the spores as well as bacteria or um, back and uh, many of the fungal spores are said to be disseminated in water and uh, move from one place to another and causes diseases the major examples are citrus canker coffee rust late blight of potato are the major examples and uh, the soil bond disease causing as well as disease transmitting or uh, some of the root rots built and uh, pseudomonas solanaceae bacterium um, are all said to be the majorly soil dependent dispersal agents so the spread of contaminated soil to healthy soil by the artificial means um, so mechanized tools as well as the infected uh, roots to the healthy land causes the transformation of uh, these diseases for, for example in fungi armillaria which is a crown rot which is said to be transformed ported to the healthy soil by the transformation of roots from the unhealthy soil to the healthy ones and uh, the seed so which can be in seed they are classified into two types so the major ones are the externally seed borne as well as internally seed borne so i have given the examples so the external seed borne so where the spores are said to be present outside the seed as well as in internally seed borne the microorganism which is said to be dormant in the seed and uh, when once when or once the plant used to get germinated the microorganism also used to germinate as well as uh, it used to grow in the plants and uh, the third one which is a special classification so it is mainly seen in uh, some crops example where we can able to making the seeding material as the plant pots example sugar cane as well as in potato so the seed material which used to contaminate by the microorganisms or virus are transported through the seed material and uh, after that we are going to see about animate agents so which are the living agents so in animate agents are particularly insects so both majority of viral as well as bacterial diseases are transmitted 
by these insects so in insect we see about the virus as well as phytoplasma as well as bacteria so these are the major diseases which are transmitted by insects as well as ergot fungi so i have given one example so the honey bees which is used to spread ervinia amnivora from blossom to blossom so which used it to spread disease from one plant to another healthy plant so some of the bacteria which used it to live inside the insect and survive through the unfavorable conditions so and uh, after some particular favorable conditions are occur so once the plant used it to suck the sap from the healthy plant the virus used it to transport it into the healthy plant and the nematodes so i have given some of the important nematode diseases tun disease of wheat uh, long uh, godas and uh, trichodorus as well as parrot trichodorus so these are some of the viral diseases uh, which are said to be transmitted by this nematode and uh, and some particular cases some of the nematodes which already even causes diseases to the healthy plants in some conditions uh, so the nematodes used to have both uh, beneficial as well as harmful characters and the third one is fungi so some of the i have given some of the important agents so allpedium as well as brassicae which used to cause cucumber mosaic virus and as well as lettuce big vein mosaic as well as syncytrium endobioticum which used to tram which is an insect uh, also uh, which used to transmit potato virus from one plant to another and the fourth one is animals and birds so the fungal spores where the spores are said to be attached in the feathers of the bird so the spores used to pass from one field to another field when the feathers are said to be drowned by the birds so for example in potato scab the resting spores are uh, said to be passed through the intestines of the cattle as well as cashew nut bite so endothica parasitica which used to spread by the wood peckers so i have given the lecture notes in description so please comment about our video and join us in the instagram page which is in the description link and if you have liked the video like it and share it to your friends and subscribe to bsc agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video catch catch you up in next videos